Let us give her a warm round of applause. Amen. Um, my name is Lupe Sierra. Um, she is a model from Israel. When she started working at the age of uh, 19, her agent told her that she was she had a pretty face, but not a model body. She her height is five feet seven inches, and she weighs 116 pounds. But in order to work, she had to lose 29 pounds, which then caused her to go to the hospital twice for malnutrition. And today, I will be talking to you about the fight against. Linda along with her have, uh, they have eating disorders. There's two main causes of eating disorders in this center. One of them is anorexia nervosa. According to the, the U.S. National Library of Medicine, it means an eating disorder in which a person, usually an adolescent female, diet significantly, 15% or more, underweight, yet still feeling fat, continues to starve. Basically, that's what they see in their mind when they look in the mirror. They're, they're skinny to the bone, but to them, they're, they're always extra fat. Like, what can I do to keep losing weight? Symptoms of these, as a result of these, physical symptoms of extreme weight loss, abnormal blood levels, fatigue, hair is thin, broken and falling out, damaged stressful period, um, osteoporosis, irregular heartbeat, poor pressure, and depression. Emotional symptoms, they start refusing. They don't, they don't, they exercise a lot more even they don't have the energy. They keep forcing their body to go on that extra limit because they feel like my body is imperfect. My body isn't a model. <coughs> the, these symptoms are also shown in our next one. This one is bulimia nervosa. Mm -hmm. um, this one, according to the medical encyclopedia, is an eating disorder characterized by episodes of overeating usually of high calorie foods followed by vom vomiting, laxative uses, fasting, or excessive exercise. So they'll spend like maybe a day, like they'll eat and they'll eat and they'll eat and like the next day they'll feel so guilty they'll spend it in a day, in the rest of all day. Or they'll go out with friends and act normal and like when they get home they'll just vomit everything back up. This disorder actually breaks down into two. There's the Persian type, people physically Stick their fingers down their throat and throw it up. And then there's the non-purging. This one's less common. This is where they, instead of eating, they'll fast or they're going to the gym and they'll exercise a lot more. A closer look at the symptoms that this one has on your body would be, for instance, your blood. In your blood you get um, anemia, your heart. It becomes irregular and it weakens. There's actually a model who died in Brazil recently because she was a uh, bulimic and her heart gave out right after she walked off the runway. She didn't even make it to the hospital. Um, your intestines, you get irregular bowel movements, you get constipation, your hormones are irregular or absent, your stomach starts producing ulcers, your brain, you just start depression, you feel dizzy, you don't want to do anything. Your cheeks actually get swollen, so that makes you look fat, and then you just want to keep losing weight. Your mouth, you start getting cavities in your throat. You can actually rupture it and it start bleeding. Your muscles aren't as strong as they should be, and you, and as 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 a result, people just instead of like stopping, there's more people, more and more people who actually start eating disorders. And as a result, currently right now, there's a new Israeli law that bans underweight models in ad governments as it tries to fight these eating disorders. The pros to, these, uh, to this new law is that um, the new law requires models to produce medical reports no older than three months at every shop, at every photo shoot. And it has to, be, has, it has to meet the standards of the World Health Organization. Also, the advertisements, um, lately, like, if they take a picture, they'll uh, slim you down with Photoshop or something. But now, if, you, if they do this, they have to state it in the photo based on Photoshop or digitally fixed. Um, there's mm. also, as a result of this, 300 models have to gain weight in order to continue working. I mean, and there's some that actually won't continue working because they don't feel that they should. 
Um, we want to break the illusion that the model that we see is real, said Dina Gil Har, assistant to law sponsor Dr. Rachel Adam. The bad side of this, it's not really bad, but the critics say that instead of looking at the size they are, it's more about like their health. Because some people are naturally very skinny and they're healthy, that's the only downside to this, that you have to weigh a certain thing. Because he says, the health of a model should be evaluated. Our weight can change hour to hour, says David Harrison, a professor of psychometry and a leading US expert on eating disorders. It's not, this is most commonly found in girls, but there's also in guys. People feel the need to keep losing weight and they're just losing weight. Um, the model, Danielle, she actually stated herself that she's glad because I wouldn't have grown up thinking that this being underweight is a model of beauty. I wouldn't have reached the point I reached. Um, she also says that in the end, gaining weight is a very low price to pay when I think about other girls who will grow up into this future. And that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.